2023, KX Pilates celebrated 10 years in business, was on track for $25 million annual turnover. Then came this thing called COVID-19. Nationwide lockdown ensured back in March. KX forced to close all studios and as a result, revenue down about 98%. Here to talk to us about it and how they actually changed their business. The all uh, important word pivot, of course, is the founder, Aaron Smith. Aaron, thanks so much for your time. We were speaking back in February about how you were celebrating, of course, 10 years in business. And I got to say that beard wasn't as gray as it is now. That's correct. Uh, you know, there's not much to do here in stage four lockdown in Melbourne. So, uh, you know, what better to grow a beard in this time? <laughs> Absolutely. So talk to us about what you've done since February and now to surf the wave, of course, and never know which wave is going to be bigger and which one's going to come next to actually survive. Yeah, look, it was very difficult. As you said, 10 years we celebrated in February. It was an amazing uh, celebration. We had our, uh, our network conference. Everyone was on a high. Three weeks later, all studios were closed down. Um, it's really tough for us, even in Melbourne, 13 weeks. We had to close the studios here in Melbourne. Other states opened up a little bit earlier. Uh, it was hard. We had to pivot uh, straight onto online. Uh, we had uh, online workouts. We charged a premium for the ones that could afford. We had free access for the ones our clients had you know, lost their jobs in the process as well. So we tried to cater for all clients. Three weeks, we had the studios open in June in Melbourne and uh, locked down again. So yeah, it's, right. been, it's been a pretty hard ride. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you've obviously responded pretty well and done whatever you can do in this. Talk to us about the importance of those relationships. Really interested in where you were talking about how the clients who still had their jobs, who could still afford to pay, of course, um, you continue charging, but I suppose you didn't want to sever those connections and ties with the people who've suddenly lost their jobs as well. Because when it comes to our fitness, it's such a personal thing, right? So talk to us about the relationships that you've got with people. Yeah, correct. And with KX, it's all about the experience in studios. So, I mean, as soon as we closed down, my number one um, saying from the top to our entire team was, you know, let's stay afloat, number one, and let's stay relevant in our clients' minds. Um, so we had people on the phones just calling up clients to see how they were doing, you know, there was nothing to sell except just to make sure that they were okay. Um, obviously, our studio owners had to close their doors and, uh, you know, had to twiddle their thumbs before we kind of had a couple of weeks before we got our act together to, to throw everything online. Um, not, all, not all owners decided to do online. Some, some you know, just decided to, to wait it out while others really pushed forward. So, um, you know, it's all about being there. We, we had strategic coaches talk to our owners. We had you know, an emotional fitness coach talk to us about, you know, how to really get through and, you know, doing absolutely everything we can just to, just yeah. to stay above. How do you, I guess, stay ahead of COVID burnout where we all came up with that plan, of course, back in March to get through. We're now in almost September and we're in a worse lockdown than we were before. I guess for you guys in terms of a Pilates studio, it's similar to what happened back in March. But I get this sense that people are really tired. You know, I do these interviews where people say, oh, you know, reach out to your friends and talk to your friends. I'm at that stage, I don't know about you, where I almost don't want to talk to anyone. I'm so tired of, of, of reaching out. You just kind of want to get back to normal. You guys must be feeling the same. Yeah, you know what, it, it's, it's been very difficult, especially second time around. Um, both me and my wife work in the business. We have a three-year-old and a four-year-old. We're not committed workers, so we don't have access to childcare, kinder or our nanny that we used to. So that's been tough. I'm now stay at home, full-time dad. Um, and with only an hour outside a day, it's extremely difficult to keep, you yeah. know, a three and a four-year-old busy. That's um, it. But I was yeah. going to say, it's just hard to, uh, to really just predict. You can't predict when yeah. is this going to be out. Fitness yeah. as well, we're last to open. So we not, might not be coming back until December. So, yeah, you know, right. when we, we can't plan, you know, what do we do? Yep, your clients will be rolling in by the time they arrive with all that chocolate and wine, no doubt. Aaron, really appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thank you. Cheers.